With your first news at 6 Sports, here's J.T. Farabo. The second day of both the boys' Class A and Class B state golf tournament took place today with the team and individual winners hoping to be crowned. It was a much windier day out west in Dickinson where the A tournament is taking place. Cheyenne dominated the team play yesterday and Andrew Wilhelm was a big reason. His approach play on the second hole lands him on the green a good few yards back from the hole. His, buddy, his birdie putt here is going to go just a bit short forcing him to settle for par. Legacy's Matthew Souther, he had one of the better golfers from the West. He was tied at eight for start of the day, and his birdie putt here breaks perfectly on the second hole. All eyes were on this guy right here, Nate Pearl from Cheyenne. He led after round one, and he's looking for eagle with this putt, but leaves it just left, and the birdie will have to do. Cheyenne, they had another excellent round today. They finished as state champions with a total score of 579. Red River takes second, and Century, they round out the top three. They shoot an impressive 295 on the day, so as did Cheyenne. Cheyenne's Nate Pearl is the 2023 state champion. He shot a 70 today, which sees him finish with a total of five below par across the two rounds. In Class B golf, Central Cass is your 2023 champion, shooting 33 strokes better than Oak Grove and Botno, who tied for second. Aiden Hall from Northern Cass is Class B individual state champion, just edging past Carson Colseth from Bowman County. Cole Holzer from Central Cass rounds out the top three, and we'll have highlights from the B tonight at 10. Just a few weeks back, his daughter Taylor was in the sports spotlight for her accomplishments in softball. Now it's his turn. Beulah softball coach Kyle Christensen takes this week's sports spotlight. It's been a crazy week for Beulah softball coach Kyle Christensen. On Saturday, Christensen led the Miners to their first ever Class B state championship. On Monday and Tuesday, he had the opportunity to coach the West All-Star team. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, the three days in mine, of course, pretty stressful, a lot of anxiety, but uh, got, got done what we wanted to get done. So this has been a little more relaxing. They contacted me last fall to ask if I would do this, and uh, I was pretty confident Taylor would be on the team, so of course uh, was looking forward to this uh, at, since last fall. Um, yeah, it makes me so happy that his hard work coaching is getting recognized too, as well as Brecken and I's achievements on the field under him. And he just knows so much from the coaching aspect that it's fun to show that off to all the teams in the state. Whether it's his players or his assistant coach, Kyle has left an impact on the people he's worked with. I couldn't think of anybody else that's more deserving, you know. Um, he, he's a great coach, knows the, great, knows the game. In the short amount of time that him and I have been coaching together you know I feel like we've done some great things for each other and with each other you know. He treats all of us like his own daughters so that's pretty awesome. Um, sometimes there's coaches who kind of have their favorites but he's not that one I don't think so. Though these accolades reflect his hard work and success coach Christensen doesn't think the focus should be on him. Well, the focus has always been on the girls. I just do what I can to try to help them. Um, you know, one thing I talk with the girls a lot is everything Everything that I do and say as a coach is meant to help them improve and get better. So the focus is always the girls, helping them achieve their goals. Hope it's not too hot for them the next time they play. Huh? We'll be right back after this.